Clay, let me show you just a little bit about how these agent subheaders work. Um, so if you put in something like this with a agent header ID, that's showing the subheader, which is this here, please contact me with any questions. So for example, if I go here to Tom's and I hit edit agent and I click subheader, this is what, what it shows here. And you can see that it's got this whole editor here. So I can put in HTML and all kinds of images and I can make this as, as, as fancy as I want. And I'm just going to change it um, just so you can see the change. So now it's, it's flagged with his header and I'm going to hit search. And you can see here please contact me with any questions today. So everything is still flagging it with him as the agent. Looks like you just sent me a message. So, well, this one might get kind of confusing on this because this is Ronnie's listing. But even so, it really sh shouldn't. Well, let's see. Let's click this one open. You see, please contact me with any questions today because this is not the listing of somebody in your office. So Ronnie's uh, listing still says, please contact me with any questions today. But since it's somebody's listing in your office, this IDX broker shows this information. So that, that can create some confusion uh, about that.